Hi, welcome back to this week's report. Once again this week, we're using live bait rigs. However, this week, we're using the new Trocar Revolves. These are the hottest hooks on the market today, and if you haven't used these revolving hooks, I tell you what, it's gonna change how many fish you put in the boat. Fish on, nice. And that's the thing, during bug hatches, it's pretty typical on Mille Lacs for the fish to go from a leech to a crawler bite in a real abrupt manner, really. I mean, not to say that the leeches aren't working, but there's times if you're going through the fish and they're just not biting, you come back through with that Trocar Revolve and I tell you what, they just start coming alive. All right, not too bad a fish to start out the day. And that's the thing, when you're fishing these hooks, you really don't have to feed them line. All you gotta do is drop the rod tip back as far as you can go and you catch them in the mouth almost every time. You know, speed and consistency are, are key elements to trolling these rigs as well. Whether you're drifting, back trolling, or running your trolling motor, you don't want choppy movements where that bait's stopping all the time and starting, or inconsistent speed where you go, let's say, from a half mile an hour to 0.8 to one mile an hour. You want it real consistent. So like today, we're just kind of riding the troughs of the waves here so I can get real consistent speed so that crawler's always turning, or you can just quarter the waves to eliminate some of that chop. Yep, just real nice and easy. Perfect. Okay, lift your rod tip up for me. There we go. Beauty. Look at that. Like I was saying, with the Trocar Revolve, you just drop the rod tip, you don't have to give them any line, and they always get hooked perfectly in the mouth. They'll come up and grab that crawler. Nice looking fish. You know, same live bait system. We're using a slick stick with about an eight foot leader. And then how we're rigging these night crawlers on here, and this is the key part to make these things spin properly, and that's hooking the night crawler right through the tip, running it up the line till you get past the fat part or the bump on your crawler, and then just pull it up on the line until you've got that little bend exposed, and then just pinch the crawler off. You want about a two inches past the hook. That way they're not short biting you, and that's how you get the ultimate spin out of these revolve hooks. Yeah, baby. All right, thanks. Drop that rod tip back. Love that sweet bite. You know, there's nothing quite like sitting in a whole bunch of bugs on Mille Lacs Lake while the walleyes are biting. These bug hatches just drive these fish out to the mud flats, some of the deeper transition lines. It moves a lot of bait, it takes a lot of those springtime spawning fish, gets them out of those areas and gets them moving around the lake. And guess what? In June, they're always biting. Another one. Hooked right there in the mouth, the revolve hook. If you're heading up to the lake this weekend, pick up some revolve hooks. Number twos and number fours are the most popular size for pulling night crawlers. Get out either on the mud, the gravel, or the transition lines. You're gonna wanna look around a little bit, and then when you find those pods of fish, just keep working through them, and you're gonna put a lot of fish in the boat. Hey, until next week, I'm Tony Roach, and we'll see you on the water.